Hello? Come in. You don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. I'm moving up. Feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is... But I try to teach my son.
if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, I ain't exactly sure why I'm here. I guess our situations have become tangled. You mean with my son? Yes. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and, uh, well, you know some the Dutch, I think. Let's keep moving. I want you to see this place. A little. Mostly from your friend, Charles. I don't know why he's getting involved with Eagle Flies. But the two of them together? It's gonna be a problem. So what are you suggesting we do? The two of them were headed for Fort Wallace when I last saw them. I'll head over there. See if I can keep things from boiling over. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You got no reason to thank me yet. Let's go. We can rest when we get there. Plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. You know... I had a son once. Years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was, too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered $10. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of... pain. I guess. I had to... <sighs> Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. This will combine well.
Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So back to what you were saying. I had to... <sighs> I don't know. I ain't been a good man. At least you understand something of your anger. I understand that you can't be a bad man and expect good things to happen to you. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. It's not that way. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. I'll work something out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanatoriums in California. I still got some options. Well, I wish you all the best. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who... Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. such a thing. I cannot believe this. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well... Uh... Still no sign of the Chinupa. It's ruined. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Mr. Morgan, the 
There's someone down there. Any binoculars? Range fall over here. I think I see an army camp. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. No, my... They're going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. they know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if... Transferred. Don't like him much. He always seemed like a decent enough fellow to me. Exactly. That's the problem. Monroe went to West Point. Favors never made it. Yeah. I'm sure. Engines. Just seems so silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? My uncle married an Indian anyway. She seemed nice enough. An Indian? Sure look. One. I'm up near the Canadian border someplace. Canada? They got Indians in Canada. Tons of them. And French folk, too. No. Is France near Canada, then? No. France is near... He's near France. Well, it's in France. Indians is from here. Huh? Where are you from? Me? I'm Polish. From Milwaukee. What's that?
Must be imagining things. Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Well done. Well done. I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 